for this part we'll look at mosque we'll see that it is a 50 point flag has a radius of 20 meters it takes 15 seconds to bring the flag down to neutral 35 seconds to hoist it up it has a fast mover and a set of kits as assets timing to get to it from the mains is about a minute 14 to a minute 20 for either side either side can contest at round start there it is in the uh, southeast corner uh, it's kind of remote from the rest of the action on the map, except for crossing. It's the aspects of this flag, one of the main features is ladders leading to the rooftops. Uh, the flag zone extends uh, up high, uh, wide and up high to areas on the rooftops, and you have to check out uh, where uh, troops might be hiding in the cap zone up high. You see it extends pretty far around here, disappears there. Uh, we go to uh, the other uh, roof. You see there's also a network of boards and planks connecting the rooftops. Uh, but the cap zone doesn't go everywhere, as can be seen here. It's, uh, this is an area not in the flag zone. As uh, we walk around various areas of the flag zone here, we'll see uh, where the cap zone touches into um, various hiding places, either up high or down low. You can uh, see here this is uh, one of them. Uh, down here is uh, near the perimeter of the uh, cap zone in these crates, but you soon are into the flag zone. It's a 20 meter radius, so that's pretty big, you know, good medium sized uh, cap zone. Yeah, you can walk under this platform, walk under those stairs. Uh, parts of it are in the cap zone. And um, you, know, you just need to check for all these areas. Here you can see it's in, in the cap zone. It disappears as we walk around the back side of the building. You know, and this, is, this is the area where they would be coming from from their main. So they're kind of at a disadvantage in that respect. They're not going to be touching into the cap zone as they make their assault approaches but it could allow them to infiltrate pretty effectively too. See the Kubel wagon there, uh, go up the ladder here, and uh, that balcony there going here would be in the cap zone. Going up this ladder leads to a rooftop area in the cap zone, and there'd just be areas you have to clear out. It's a lot of good vantage points on uh, the mosque flag too. You get up high, you can see a long ways out, and you know there you can see it's in the cap zone behind this ledge. Just an area to to get out uh, and check and make sure no one's in. But you see a pretty good view up here, and there are other places that have good views too. This uh, shows an example of uh, a sprint into the buildings area from the Allied side, which might be one of their avenues of approach, but it would do them no good in terms of getting into the cap zone. Um, this building just doesn't quite reach it, even though it looks like it's real close to that center flag building. Remember, that little building is right in the middle of the, of the cap zone. And so some other avenue of approach has to be found. It's not going to be up here, uh, up in this very complicated, uh, apparently a dining table area. Again, it's not uh, touching the cap zone. Well, even going up uh, this little ladder up onto the dome sections, he doesn't uh, offer access to the cap zone. Squad leader might possibly be up here, um, don't know, but it won't <coughs> give the troops immediate access uh, to the cap zone. You can get into the uh, tall tower. It's uh, set up with ladders and platforms. And this shows the vantage point from the tall tower. Very good field of view. You can see uh, a long ways out into the fields. They can have some protection and still see. Um, should be no doubt that someone should be up there. Let's take a look at the assets here. You can see starting here I am in the cap zone. We'll go to the flag building, the center building, and see that the uh, automatic rifle kit is uh, there in the middle of that building. And back behind here is where the remaining kits are. There's a, a standard set, a flamethrower, and the Russian rifle, uh, and the uh, pitchfork shotgun kit there. We also have uh, ammo boxes right nearby. There's a bank of three of them. Over on the other side is uh, the Kubel. You can see about where the cap zone uh, starts and ends there too, or at that radius. 
But uh, the fast mover again is an asset at uh, a flag that can be very useful in this map. Let's take a check of where we are here. You see where we are in relation to the kits and the flag building and the flag. If we go around behind uh, to the entrance to this building, you see it's not in the cap zone, not in the cap zone. If we go around the corners here and go um, uh, past these armoires and find this stack of crates, you'll find that back behind the crates is a hiding place good for one troop. Uh, if you don't go find them, you might stay there and come and infiltrate and cause problems, or we might be able to use it to fight from and hide in. And we'll just do a double check here of where this location is. I don't know that it'll be a key factor or anything, but it's uh, something that's interesting and could influence a fight from time to time. So I'll just double check where its location is. Well, just to kind of complete the picture and add some uh, footage, we'll have a refresher here with the editor view of Mosque and uh, go back and fit in what the um, editor details show about the flag. Here's the route from Allied Main and Crossing River. You can see here the uh, uh, more shallow points for uh, fording the river there. Uh, you'll note if you take the Bedford into the road uh, ford down into the water, it takes a lot of damage. It goes down to about 25%. It's really hard on it and um, uh, difficult uh, to deal with if they had any prior damage. Well, kind of match this up with what you saw before uh, in this video. You can see how the flag um, caps on rather swells to the uh, uh, rooftops because it's bigger in the middle there and it reaches into some of the areas that uh, walked around uh, earlier in the video. You can see it just of course matches up perfectly but uh, this gives you a good impression I think of where uh, where the uh, cap areas are. And if you, if you noted too you'll see that the uh, uh, assets are shown with uh, control lines leading to them and the green cubes are spawn points uh, for this particular flag so uh, you could replay this to kind of get uh, a good uh, sense of what the flag is like a little more detail than in the first presentation of this particular clip